So it's time for us to finally come to terms with the fact that Drake is an unrepentant misogynist. I've been a Drake fan for more than a decade. Like a lot of college educated black women, he has a really special place in my heart. I have very distinct memories of being in my college dorm room and listening to So Far Gone over and over again. It was a really important time in my life. So I have a lot of nostalgia attached to Drake as a person and as an artist. But as I've gotten older, and wiser. I've had to take a step back and really look at Drake's catalog and some of the themes that come up repeatedly. Drake has some major flaws and one of them is the deep deep sexism that comes up again and again. But he is a special kind of misogynist, probably the most common type. No, you know what? You worse than a fuck nigga. You a fuck nigga who thinks he's a good dude. And a lot of times that's real easy to ignore because he gives us stuff like this. You been inside, know you like to lay low. I've been people what you bring to the table. Working hard, girl, everything pay for. First, last phone, bill, car, no cable. But I'm as old as I've ever been, and there were so many times when I was listening to Scorpion where he would talk about women, and I would just be like, for real. So for me, the most flagrant and annoying kind of sexism is when men want to minimize the stuff that women do for fun. When they want to belittle us for just enjoying ourselves in the world. Or when they try to point to us doing stuff that is normal human behavior in 2018 and name it pathological because we're women. Drake does that all the time. So here are some lyrics from Emotionless. I know a girl whose one goal was to visit Rome. She finally got to Rome and all she did was post pictures for people at home Cause all that mattered was impressing everybody she's known I know another girl that's crying out for help But her latest caption is leave me alone I know a girl happily married till she puts down the phone I know a girl that saves pictures from places she's flown To post later and make it look like she's still on the go I'm sorry, but it's 2018, everybody is fronting on the internet Drake is trying to make some sort of big statement about how women are making ourselves lonely and miserable because we want to project this image of perfection to the world. But like, everyone is lonely and miserable. There are literally studies about how using social media makes you more likely to be depressed. Now look, this is sexist because there's this prevailing notion that women lead particularly deceitful lives online. I mean, that's the origin of the term catfish. There's this idea that we are so plagued by insecurity that we can't stop ourselves from trying to project perfection. Drake is obsessed with this. And we see it in the ways that men are mad about women using Instagram or Snapchat filters, or they ridicule us for posing certain ways, or using face tune or whatever like leave us alone we should be very cognizant of the unintended consequences of using social media those are real and widespread but trying to make this a gender issue is just ridiculous do y'all remember the bow wow challenge like a whole challenge named after a former rap star who was fronting on Instagram. Drake just wants to police what women do while making empowerment anthems, but you gotta choose. I love Nice For What, like, that's my song. But are you gonna celebrate the girl who has her phone out snapping like she Fabo? With your phone out, gotta hit them angles. With your phone out, snapping like you Fabo. And you showing sure off, but it's all right. And you showing sure off. But it's all right. Or are you gonna make fun of the girl who just wants to post her travel pictures on the gram? Let us know. Now this idea about how women misuse social media came up again at the end of In My Feelings, another song of the summer, when he inserted a clip of Van's episode of Atlanta from the second season. You don't know him? Girl. She she don't don't he's she don't, she don't know. He is fine. fine. And he looks like he would make a great father. Van! Van, do you hear this madness? What are we, what are y'all talking about? You know what, I don't even care. I need a photo with Drake because my Instagram is weak as fuck. What are you talking I'm just being real. My shit, look, I got Lottie, Lottie, Lottie. Chicken. Lottie, me, chicken. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Uh -huh. Lottie, Lottie, urn. Delete the urn. Oh yeah, so we can replace urn with Drake. Right. Now, that episode was a garbage, sexist piece of television. I love that show and I was so disgusted by the way that they did the women there. And so that just lends credence to my idea that this is all just rooted in sexism. Now Drake's misogyny comes up in a couple of other ways. He often throws his romantic or sexual relationships in the faces of the men that he has conflict with, like on Elevate. I already hit her when you left her lonely. She is 
not the type that likes to take things slowly or whether he's weaponizing the fact that so many women love his work like he did in 8 out of 10 we both know end of the day, your niggas is pressing play, your nanny is pressing play, your wifey, your wifey, your wifey, your wifey, your wifey. And that's just it, he's clearly using us. Drake is coded as effeminate because he's light skinned, he's Canadian, he is goofy and tall, he was raised by a white Jewish woman. And women respond to those performances of vulnerability that he is just so good at, but now that I'm older and wiser, I'm just. I'm not buying it anymore. Because let's contrast how Drake talks about women, you know, basically using us as pawns to get back at men versus the love and affection that he shows for the men in his life. Like, count up how many times Drake talks about loving his bros, being down for his bros, holding his brothers down. Like, he really prides himself on being a great friend to men. Without 40 Ollie, there be no me. Imagine if I never met the broskis. Slowly, my mouth is going off. I don't know patience. I got a chance, then my niggas got it too, like it's contagious. But do you think Drake has any female friends, like for real, for real? I'm not sure. You know, I really doubt it. I think Drake probably sees our usefulness primarily as consumers and caretakers. Now, I do recognize that he has put a young woman filmmaker on by letting her take the lead of his last few videos, which I really respect and appreciate, you know? hire women but that's not enough for me now taylor swift gets a lot of shit about how she uses her exes in her songs but do you think drake treats his ex as well like beyond harassing them and profiting off of them i definitely remember a couple of years ago when drake was in houston and he decided that he wanted to retire the jerseys of some exotic dancers that he had had relationships with one of them was malaya michelle and she came out and said uh you don't get to do that i feel like that really underscores the way that he approaches women the sorts of possessiveness that he feels and then, like i said before drake performs vulnerability really really well and that is very appealing and almost irresistible for young women who are into rap, who are into hip hop. And a lot of time we are only treated to a certain type of narrow hyper masculinity from the men who are at the top of this genre. But is it that much different? I'm not sure. Because it's very clear that Drake is deeply, deeply insecure. But who bears the brunt of those insecurities? It's women. That being said, I still find Drake to be adorable. I will be playing Nice For What and In My Feelings for the rest of the summer. Not gonna lie. God's working on all of us. A jam is a jam. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to help us continue this work, be sure to become a patron on Patreon. I have a patrons-only podcast you can only listen to if you sign up there or make a one-time donation. The links are below. And if you're a black woman, join me for Black Girls Gather events for black women across the country in LA and Boston and New York and Charlotte and Houston. Grab a ticket. I'll see you there. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you. Bye.